Hi, welcome to the tutorial Understanding the General Ledger Batch Status History. Many types of activities are performed on each batch of General Ledger transaction. You can create the batch, approve it, post it, reopen it, void it, or delete the batch. Accountants and financial auditors are very interested in knowing who has performed what action against a batch. An audit trail is essential to ensure improved financial controls and segregation of duties compliance. The General Ledger Batch Status History functionality provides the ability to audit when a batch is created, deleted, or the batch status is changed. It provides a history table and an inquiry application that tracks who has changed the status of a batch, what the change is, and when the status of a batch has changed. You must activate the General Ledger Batch Status History before you use the General Ledger Batch Status History functionality. Access the Work with Enterprise One System Control Form P99410. On the Work with Enterprise One System Control Form, select the data item for BHF0011 and click OK. Access the Enterprise One System Control Revision Form and select Yes to enable batch status history. After you have activated the General Ledger Batch Status History functionality and have worked with batches, access the Batch Status History Inquiry Program P00119 to inquire on the details of the General Ledger Batch Status History. Use the Batch Number Type field in the header or create your own saved queries to support your inquiry needs. You can see the sequence of batch updates, new status of the batch, indicator to specify if the batch was deleted, and who has done the change and when. The inquiry application can also be used in a CAFE1 layout. For example, use CAFE1 with Work with Batches P0011 to assist with your audit. You can easily see the history of a specific batch on the right hand side. Visit us online at learnjd.com. Thanks for watching.